Hey, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Mike Schwartz. Today, I'm gonna to share with you two of the three features that NinjaTrader has that made me switch from my old broker to using the NinjaTrader platform. And I'm gonna give you guys an example of why you need to use these features. All right, so let's talk about what they are. First, it's gonna be chart traders. So once you have a chart populated on your chart, and if you say, Mike, I don't know how to open up a chart, no worries, click on the link in the right hand corner of your screen. It'll bring you to a Ninja Trader playlist. I'm gonna keep growing this playlist as you guys send me more questions about Ninja Trader. I'm gonna continue to record more and more videos. So you guys can have a complete tutorial on how to use Ninja Trader. So once you have a chart all set up on your screen, you click on this icon right up here on the top of the window. And when you click on that, you wanna go ahead and click on icon and then click on chart trader and it's going to bring up a nice little tab right over here now when we look at this we can say okay so what's so great about this well what is pretty cool about this i'm going to do this and play back because i'm not going to risk real money as i'm um, making this tutorial for you but we go ahead and hit play now right here on the chart trader i can say okay let me go ahead and buy right here and you know say oh all right let me get out boom go ahead and get out real quick easy peasy i can get in and out of the trades very very quickly but that's not even where it is the most important all right so the most important feature is not just chart trader in the fact that you know we can trade right here because trading right here on these buttons really isn't you know what's called chart trader but once again i'm going to get into a trade and now i'm going to come over here and just put sell limit up here now this is where chart trader comes in handy with chart trader i can grab this tag right here I can move it around now why this is important because i might say well if the market makes it right to here this was a a minor swing point the market broke and has failed to come back and retest it and i believe the market may come back and test it well now i can visualize on the screen exactly where my order is and if it's not you know perfect i can just simply click it and i can move it exactly where i want on the screen and that's what makes chart trader so powerful now if i want to go ahead and say okay not only do i want to sell the one contract that i got on but i also want to go short and just click right here on the on the end of the tag let me go ahead and click off right here where it says one if i click on that i can change the quantity to whatever i want so let's say i wanted to go two all right if i had that a quantity of two when i already have two long that would sell one meaning it would close out my long position then on the second contract it would initiate a short position now i'm not going to do that in this example because that would be a little bit foolish so what i'm going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close out this order real quick. And I'm just gonna hit close right there. Now, that brings me to the next feature. It's called the ATM, Active Trade Management. And this is a truly a game changer. And in a moment, once I show you guys how to set up the ATM, how to save it, I'm gonna show you guys an example of why you need it. And there's no way on earth that you can do what I'm about to show you with the ATM strategy that you know on your own manually trying to do what it is that i'm about to show you all right so what we're going to do for the atm you can see atm strategy right here here's a list of you know quite a few atms that i use but just as so we can start off from scratch i'm going to come right down here i'm going to click on custom now we can make this whatever we want if we go ahead and we say okay i want a let's say we want a 15 tick stop loss and i want a I'll say a two tick take profit right well i can go ahead and i could click okay and what i could do then is once i hit as long as i'm selected on that atm once i hit buy look what it did it went ahead and put my limit order out there and it put my stop loss order now what's important about this is if either one of those orders are hit then it will cancel out the other order so i can just simply hit play Boop. the take profit order i believe was hit and i am now out of the trade so i don't have a another order standing out down below now you don't want to come back and have to always go back to custom so i'm going to come right back over here to edit and here's what we can do now let's say that i like this template i can say okay template i like it i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to name it a test all right and the only reason i'm naming it a test so i, I know so i can go back and delete it and now i'm going to click okay now Let's say that I come in here and it's it's on none. Instead of having to go back and reconfigure that ATM, I can simply just come right over here to where it says a test right here. Boop, and now it's gonna have that same ATM. Now, there's another powerful feature within the ATM you may wanna use, and this is the stop strategy. Now, if I go ahead and I click down here, I can click custom right here. 
Let's say that I want the stop loss to move to break even once I'm in one tick of profit. Now that would be unrealistic. That would be way too tight to move the stop loss up. And you can make it where it moves it to plus four, you know, plus five, plus 10, whatever number you want, or I can make it to where it moves it down or, you know, maybe our stop loss initially starts at 10 ticks. And I say, hey, after it moves one tick in my favor, go ahead and move the stop loss to minus five. There's a lot of, you know, different features that we can use within this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it at zero because that will move it to break even. And I am gonna go ahead and change. I'm gonna put my stop loss out way out in the distance. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my tick profit a little ways out too because what I want to do now is I'm going to simply go ahead and buy an order and I want you guys to see the actual stop loss market move all by itself. So if the market can tick one tick in my favor, you'll see that the stop loss order will automatically move up. So where this is very beneficial, let's say you have a busy schedule or you have a full-time job and you're like, man, I really want to trade the markets. But I, you know, I always miss it. Target one gets hit. I don't have an opportunity to move my stop loss to break even. This feature is going to be able to do it for you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play and watch where the stop loss is right there. I don't know what just happened. Ah, I do know what happened. All right, so that was a little bit tight for the Nasdaq. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out this one real quick. And what it was saying is that essentially when it went to move the stop loss up to break even, the bid ask spread was already too far. So I need to, I need to set that profit trigger a little bit bigger. That was bad on my, on my part, which again, I said, there's no way we'd want a one tick you know, trigger. So I'm just gonna put it where it's at six ticks, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this example one more time. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit um, sell market. All right, now look where the stop loss is right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a blue horizontal line right across it. I'm just gonna drag the take profit because I don't want the take profit to actually get hit. And what I'm gonna do now is, and actually I'm gonna move that stop loss up even higher, right? So let's do this, let's just exaggerate. I'm gonna move the stop loss all the way up to here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit play. Now, if everything works, okay, there you go. You saw it move to break even and you saw what happened. Hopefully you guys, you know, pause the video, NASDAQ moves a little bit quick, but essentially what happened was the market moved down whatever we just set the profit trigger at. Let's see what it was at. So once it moved six ticks in our favor, it moved the stop loss to break even and it recorded it as a loss because I'm sure when we exited the trade, we had a spread. Right now we can see the spread is, you know, two ticks. So we would have lost some money on that spread, but it gives you a lot of customized uh, custom built custom you're able to customize it to suit your needs again very powerful tool now let me show you why you need to start using the atm strategy and if you want to delete any of the atm strategies that you already have set up you can come right over here and just simply click remove now the atm strategy is going to be gone all right so now let's talk about the atm strategy and chart trader and why i'm such a big fan of it one, it helps me manage my risk. If you've ever traded with a funded trading program, then you know it's all about risk management, all right? You can only have so big of a stop loss. You don't wanna to lose too much on any one trade because if you lose too much on a certain day, then you blow out the account and you do not, you lose your chance to have a funded account or worse. Let's say you already passed the evaluation process. You have a funded account, but you have one big blowout day because you know you don't wanna take a loss. So you just keep you know moving your stop or you don't have a stop loss in place. By having an ATM strategy, a stop loss is already on your chart. All you have to do is not really mess with it or at least put it at a logical place and either let the market hit it or not. Now, let's go ahead and look at a playback trade that I just did on the NASDAQ. You guys know the NASDAQ can be a beast to trade. So let's go ahead and look at this trade. And what this trade was, was I was looking for a double dot strategy. So as soon as a second red dot shows up, bam, I hit the sell button. Stop loss should be right above the red dot. I'm trying to get the second theory targets out of the way real quick and what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to go down to the flow master delta horizontal lines that they're now plotting on the charts since the new update thanks a lot for that Vinny. it's been a great help now we have a green dot show up so i took half a position off if we break that green dot i'm going to look to re-engage even though it's coming into a shark pattern which does make me a little bit nervous oh we have a power blue dot i have to exit the trade and because i fat fingered it a little bit that one contract was still out but here in a matter of minutes 635 dollars could you maneuver those market orders around that quick without using chart trader and an ATM strategy, I highly doubt it.
All right, so let's take a look at that. So I, I was behind the entry, right? The double dot, I should've been filled way up here, but the recording software and whatnot, I was using quite a bit of RAM on my computer. I got slipped on this trade um, and it was due to the computer. It wasn't like, oh, the market slipped me because this is playback. So it's not market makers playing with my order or whatnot. The order entry really should've been way up here. But again, with Alcabox, you do not have to be perfect. Vinny says that all the time and you can still make money. So where we actually entered the market was at 933.46. So 9.33 and 46 seconds. The last order that was exited was all the way down here at 9.34.13. Yes, about 30 seconds or so we were in the trade and we were able to secure $635. How cool does that sound? Now, if the double dot strategy sounds appealing to you, this is not even one of my favorite strategies out there. All right, but it is a strategy that I will trade when it shows up. And if you wanna learn some of these strategies, there'll be a link in the description box down below where you can join Algobox free Discord room and learn all the strategies. And if you wanna demo the software, you can get a free demo as well. Now, I was trying to target on this all the way down here to this horizontal delta line right down here. We have a couple of them on the charts and I was trying to target this one that had the largest delta down towards the low right here, or maybe it was right here. I can't remember, I have to go back and watch the video. I think I was trying to target either this one or this one right here. You can see the market just barely missed it and turned it. And I am curious, does the market ultimately go down there or not? I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because I just wanna know, does the market go down there or not? It's gonna eat me up not knowing. You can see the computer's lagging even now on playback. You can see we're skipping bars. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it would have made it down there had I held it, but the rules say if I see a power dot, I should at least take off half. I got scared, I closed it out, but the new and improved Flowmaster Delta with the horizontal lines are a game changer. You can see right down there where the market actually went to. Again, thank you for that, Vinny. Like always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Till next time, good luck and good trading.